the Jimmy Rosenberg intro to Melody or Crepper School. I'm Robin Nolan and in this series of videos I'm answering your questions on playing gypsy jazz guitar and uh, this week I've got a great great lick for you. It's the intro which uh, Jimmy plays, Jimmy Rosenberg, to Django's beautiful Melody or Crepper School, also known as Love's Melody. And the, the usual way to play this, it sounds like this. Yeah, just like that. So, or just to the E minor. And usually how Django did it was those double stops, which sound beautiful. So, so the melody line being, and that's where you come in. Uh, Jimmy taught me this really cool way of doing it using chords and the melody line is on top every time but beneath you've got these chords just like that you can hear the note there I think that sounds really cool So what are those chords? The first one, we take an A, an F sharp, and a B, and an E on the top. Uh, oh, sorry, and a D sharp. So you've got, you got actually the minor six chord, the A minor six. And then with the first finger, you bar that to get that note, the D sharp. So it's actually a diminished chord. It doesn't matter what, what chord it is. This is just the first chord. To get that nice and when you play the chord kind of just practice going so you can hear the top note ring out so that's the note so you don't want to kind of concentrate on, on the bottom notes you want to hear that and actually how Jimmy plays it it goes so you kind of play the bass note first then play the, the, the other three uh, notes in the chord The second chord, so it's G in the bass, and you've got this chord, which is basically G6 chord, so G, G, the octave, B natural, and with your pinky you've got the six. So if these chords are all new to you, then just practice one at a time, and then start to link them together slowly, so you just go. and smooth. Then the third chord, which is basically a B7 type chord, so you've got F sharp, D sharp, A, the melody note in the top, F sharp. F sharp, D sharp, A. You can let that B open B ring if you like. So now you can start piecing them together. Quite tricky, so you've got to practice it a lot just to get it so you, you get those ni nice melody notes coming up. And then, really, really add the finesse to it. You want to play it really nice and relaxed and kind of quite quiet, really, when you hear Jimmy play it. I think there's a Hot Club Records uh, recording somewhere of Jimmy playing Melody or Crepe School and he uses this intro, so see if you can find that. But he basically plays it nice. Like that. And then you're into the tune. So it's a really, really cool, cool and classy way to start Melody Crepe School. And it's from Jimmy Rosenberg, so gold. Um, if you've got a question you'd like to ask me, then send me an email to questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel here. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Hey, it's Robin. Did you like that lesson? If you did, you can do three things right now to continue your journey into Gypsy Jazz. Number one, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I hope you do because every week I can send you a new video answering your questions into Gypsy Jazz guitar playing. Number two, you can download your free issue of Gypsy Jazz Guitar Secrets magazine. And you can do that by clicking here or going to gypsyjazzsecrets.com. 
And number three, you can check out my Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club, and you can do that by going here, clicking on the button, or go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. So if you'd like to do any of that, just click on these buttons, and I look forward to seeing you in another video really soon.